Hi, this is Debbie. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. Now, not that I don't have another <clears throat> video coming up real soon because I would like to do one on teaching um, how to do a pop-up, which I'm going to post some things on my blog um, pretty soon, a cutting file and some pictures. But right now I wanted to share this little trick with you. Um, if you have Photoshop, and I know many of you do, I wanted to show you um, what I came up with. Okay. If you go over to your computer, so the start computer, and I just go to my local C disk, program files, and then you let's find Silhouette. There we go, Silhouette Studio. And you click open your resources file, and then this resources file again. And you go to your specs SS and you can go to patterns which you it can see here you have your fabric patterns I'm going to go back your modern patterns like this and all what I did is I right clicked and I copied and I pasted it to my desktop so I could create other papers so I'm going to show you how to do this this is the marble one and I'll show you what I did with it to recreate it and I made something like that and then I used the gray yellow argyle which is this one and I created this paper and it's pretty easy okay I'm gonna unlock my background of course you don't have to and I always just duplicate the layer and that's fine we'll just leave it at that and then I'm gonna turn off this layer here and you can go to your adjustments and you can go to your hue and saturation and select colorize and here you can do all sorts of colors by just slotting the bar and you can increase your saturation um, you can go over here to your paint tools <clears throat> and if you have any patterns loaded up in them like a uh, I don't even know what this one is, but we'll see. Yeah, this is my little swirly one. So if I select that, and let me switch this color to white. And I'm going to lower down the size of that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I always seem to get... Um, should be filling up white new layer add a new layer <laughs> and we're going to go up to undo which I'll show you up here but um, control Z will undo it control Z okay let me switch these colors back up again And I'm just doing, you can take your time and do lots of creative things with your files that you want to. But the nice thing about this is we can create additional papers from those patterns that are already in studio without having to go through all the trouble to create our seamless tiles. Now some of the studio ones are not seamless and some are. So I'm just clicking around, just keep on clicking. And there's tons of things you can do in Photoshop with this. So I'm pretty much done with this one. And you can always go into your um, layer styles, click in the little FX there, and we can add a color overlay. Double clicking in here. I actually think I like it at white. <laughs> so I'm going to cancel that. And cancel. And just leave it at white. And remember you can add filters to it as well. <clears throat> Let's check out spatter. I'm 
might have been better to go on this layer to do that, but that's okay. But anyway, you know that in Photoshop you have filters and you have all kinds of things. And then when you're ready to save this file, you just go flatten image and then go, okay, we'll discard that because we don't need it anymore. And then you go file, save as, and this was a JPEG, so that's fine. And just name it blue marble or something. I'm just going to cancel that out because I'm not going to save this one, but I did want to show you how you can go in there and find those um, papers and create all of your own little effects with Photoshop. And let me go and show you that one more time where you find those. You go to here, then your computer, local C disk, program files, let's go down and find Silhouette again, and your resources, and click resources again, and I never looked in this file, I'll go back, <laughs> nothing in there, okay, and then patterns, and each one will have different patterns that you can just drag onto your desktop or right click copy and paste onto your desktop and then open it up in your Photoshop to create your own custom papers. I hope you enjoyed this little <clears throat> new tip of things you can do to make creative papers to add to your library. Have a great day everyone. I'll see you on my blog real soon and I'll be making that pop-up video real soon. You all have a great day. Bye-bye.